if you think of Red Rocks Park as just a beautiful place to see a concert. I just want to say you, think again. All around you are 738 total acres of deer, dinosaurs, pines and prairie, geological wonders and spectacular vistas. At 6,450 feet above sea level, Red Rocks Park is a unique transitional zone where the Great Plains meet the Rocky Mountains. The diverse environment allows visitors to see plants, birds, and animals of both regions. Red Rocks Amphitheater is a geological phenomenon, the only naturally occurring, acoustically perfect amphitheater in the world. From Sting and the Beatles to opera stars and U2, every artist aspires to play on this magical, spiritual and emotional stage. With its excellent views of the Rocky Mountains, miles of hiking trails and cinnamon-hued sandstone cliffs, Red Rocks Park is a big draw for outdoors enthusiasts. This impressive park offers visitors the opportunity to experience the fascinating geographic transition between the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains. If you only have a short amount of time here, stretch your legs along the Trading Post Trail. This nearly one one-half mile long path weaves through the rust-colored buttes, making for some spectacular scenery. With multiple hiking and biking trails, it's also become a favorite outdoor space for active Coloridans. In addition to restrooms, there is also a casual restaurant on site. The park is open every day from one hour before sunrise to one hour after sunset, and admission is free. Before you head out, I recommend stopping by the Visitor Center, which features information on the park's history and trails. The Visitor Center is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. from April through October, and from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. from November through March. Red Rocks Amphitheater is called America's Best Amphitheater by Rolling Stone, more than a million concert goers and outdoor enthusiasts visit Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater each year. As the only naturally occurring, acoustically perfect amphitheater in the world, the venue is listed as a National Historic Landmark by the National Park Service and Department of the Interior. Of course, the Red Rocks Amphitheater is only part of the park. With its setting on two, 300-foot sandstone monoliths and stunning views of panoramic Denver in the distance, the Red Rocks experience is unlike any other, for musicians and fans alike. It's a world-class concert venue located in the foothills of Morrison near Denver. Big-name artists perform there regularly during the warmer seasons. They also host other events, like their popular Summer Movies series, where they screen movies on the big screen to watch from the amphitheater. Concert tickets vary in price depending on demand. For more information on upcoming shows and ticket prices, visit the Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater website. The site link is given below in description. However, I want to say that no matter the show or movies, the majestic atmosphere makes it a good time. Even if you can't fit a concert into your schedule, I think the theater is worth a stop for the photos alone, while the park's visitor center features displays dedicated to past acts. You will need a car to get to Red Rocks Park, which is located about 16 miles west of downtown Denver. If you don't have your own set of wheels, you can also sign up for one of the best Denver tours, which make day trips to the park. So, don't forget to share your opinion about this beautiful, historic and geographically important place. If you don't visit this place yet, sit up and make a trip plan now. Thanks for watching so far. Meet you again in another video.